We continue now at the top of Daf Hey Amad Aleph and Mesech Eskitin. This is Gitin Daf 5A. On the previous summit, the Gemara quoted the Mishnah, which said that let's say somebody delivers a get and he's not able to say, So the Mishnah over there said, You should certify the signatures of the get. And the Gemara asked, What does it mean to say that the person is not able to say, If, we're, if you say we're talking about a person who is a deaf mute, and Tosas over here says, Now, the Gemara does not want to suggest that maybe the person is a mute, or maybe he didn't see the writing of the get. Because then the language of the Mishnah should have been that he didn't say, When you say he's not able to, so that already suggests something more than that. So that's why the Gemara says, If you say we're talking about someone who's a deaf mute, so is a Cheresh even able, even someone who's able to deliver a get? But we learned in a Mishnah that everybody is kosher to deliver a get except for a cheresh out of a cotton. And so a cheresh is not even able to deliver a get. And so the question again is, what is the Mishnah talking about over here? What's the case? The Yom Rav Yosef and Rav Yosef says, and here what's the case? The case is the person was healthy when he actually gave her the get. But then he didn't get a chance to say until he became a deaf mute and therefore that's what it's saying over there in the Mishnah, he wasn't able to say and so the Mishnah said and so the Gemara says according to Rava, the Mishnah makes sense but according to Rava, it's still difficult because just because you certain Certify the signatures on the get. How have you taken care of the issue of lishma? As Rashi explains, have no da, so they're not able to be shluchim to deliver a get. And they cannot become shliach in order to divorce her. As we say in kedushin, and the same would be true. By a cheresh, and the same would be, be true by a shota. And so again, the Gemara asks, According to Rav, it's fine. Certify, because that's the whole purpose of a funai. But according to Rav, it's difficult. Because it says that you just have to do a certification of the signatures. But here, don't you still have the problem of lishma? So how does Rav explain this Mishnah? And the Gemara answers, And here, what are we talking about? We're talking about this was after the time when in Medina Sayyam, they actually did learn the halachas. They knew about the halacha of lishma at some point in time, and therefore that became no longer an issue, and that's why in this Mishnah that was not an issue anymore. But the Gemara says, if so, yachol nami, but if that's the case, if it's already la'achar shalomdu, so then even if he's able to say b'fanei nechtam, b'fanei nechtam, b'fanei nechtam, it should be enough to certify. And Rashi over here explains, la'achar shalomdu d'boi lishma, again, they already learned about the idea of lishma. But the Gemara asks, if that's the case that they already learned about lishma and lishma is not an issue, so Yachal Nami Lo So then even in a situation where the guy was able to say Bafana Nachta Fana Nachtam, he shouldn't need to say Bafana Nachta Fana Nachtam. Im Afshala Kaimu Baidim, if you have these Aidam around to certify, Lo Yit Starech Lomer, Bafana Nachta, Fana Nachtam, there should be no need to say, Bafana Nachta Fana Nachtam. Umishani and the Gemara will answer in a moment. Afagav de Lomdu, no, even though we're talking about in time in, in a period of time where they are they are learned and there's no issue of Lashma technically speaking, but Loakru Rabbanan Takantayu, the Rabbanan do not uproot their Takana, Kizera Shamiyaks or Double Kalkula, because there's a Gzeira, maybe things will return to the way they used to be when people did not know about the halacha of Lashma. The Yishkahu they'll forget about the halacha, Hilka Khashdanami Sarkashlech Livdok Shulishma. Therefore, now also the Shleach has to check that it is Lashma, and that's why we'll say that in a situation of Yachol, where the Shliach is able to say, so he should in fact say it. We do have this concern of Lishma, not a real concern of Lishma, but a Gezei Rashami Yachzer Dava Lekalkula. So again, that's what the Gemara says. Yachi, if so, Yachol Nami, by when he's able to say, also, the certification should be fine. But the Gemara says, no, Gezei Rashami Yachzer Dava Lekalkula. There's a Gezei Maybe things will return to the way they were, and maybe in Medina Sayyam they'll forget about the Halach of Lishma. But the Gemara says, Yachi, if so, Eno Yachol Nami, if we make a Gezei that maybe things are going to go back to the way they were. So then we go, we're back to our original we're back to our original problem. Let's say even in a situation where he's not able to say certification should not be sufficient because we should have a gezeira And to that the Gemara says if someone's healthy then suddenly becomes a deaf mute. That's already something that's not common. In a situation where it's not common lo gazer bar the rabbanon never made the gezeira. So in a case where he's not able to say it where he was healthy and then he became a cherish. So then already it's not a common situation. And we're not really worried about Lishman. We don't make a Gezeir Shamiyachs or Dovalikal Kulo because we don't make Gezeirs in situations of Milsa Delo Shricha.
But the Gemara continues, What about a case of a woman, this means the wife herself, who's bringing her own get as a shliach. Again, let's say the husband told his wife, you should take the get, but you're only divorced when you actually when you actually deliver it, so to speak, when you actually bring it to Bezdin. That's not a common case. Well, tonight we learned in the Mishnah, that when the wife herself brings her get, the only thing is, she needs to say, and if we're saying the Mishnah is talking, and the whole reason to say, is really because we're, it's a gezeira, so we shouldn't make the gezeira, because this is an uncommon situation. And to that says to that the Gemara says shalotach look b'shlichus. The reason why is we don't want to make any distinctions in shlichus. If you have a case of shlichus, even if it's an uncommon case of shlichus, we're still going to make this gezeira shem yachzer davar lekilkulo. Rashi says shalotach look b'shlichus shinu yehu. This is an answer. Lochilko chacham and shliach l'shliach. We're not going to make a distinction between one shliach and another shliach. Avol hada ino yachol. But in the case where a person is not able to say b'fanai lav chilaku, that's not really a distinction. Shari hutzrach lomer. Really, there he is required to say but it's impossible. And so therefore, in that case, we say it's a milsa de loshricha, and we rely on the certification. But in general, by all kinds of shluchim, whether they're common or not, we're going to require them to say it because of the gezeira. But the Gemara says, Yachi, if so, bal nami, so by the husband also, meaning to say, if we're not going to make any distinctions in terms of shluchim, the husband should also have to say, mefanei nechta, mefanei nechta. Alam atanya, so why do we learn a b'raisa? Hu atzmo shehevi gito, let's say he himself brings his get. Rashi says, shehevi es gito shekasvo b'medina sayam, meaning it was written in medina sayam. He's coming here to divorce her. So if he himself, the husband himself, delivers the get, he doesn't need to say, but we should say a rule. We should say all shluchim need to say, and the Gemara answers to that. What is the reason that the Rabbanon said, Why did the Rabbanon say that there's a need to say, The whole reason that we say, is because we have a concern, maybe the husband will come and protest, and he's going to disqualify the get. But but now in this case, where the husband himself is delivering it, he has it in his own hands. He's the one that's giving the get, and now he's going to protest later. So that's really no concern. So when the husband delivers Delivers the get. There's no need for b'fanei nechda, b'fanei nechda. And the Gemara continues. Tashma coming here another proof. To buy me ne Shmuel me Rav Huna. Because Shmuel asked Rav Huna the following question: Shnayim sheiviu get me Medina Sayom. If two people deliver a get from Medina Sayom, Tzrichin sheyomru b'fanei nu nechda, u'v'fanei nu nechda. Oen Tzrichin. Do they need to say b'fanei nu nechda, u'v'fanei nu nechda, or do they not need to say it? So Amar Le, so he said back to him, Ain't Srich, and he said, they don't need to say, Befanei Nechta, Befanei Nechta. Umayilu Yomru, Befanei No Gersha, because if these two people would say, would act as witnesses, and simply say that in front of us, this woman was divorced, Milo Mehemni, wouldn't they be believed? And so therefore, since they're believed to just say she's a divorced woman, they can certainly deliver the get, without having to say, Befanei Nechta, Befanei Nechta. And Rashi says, meaning if they wanted to, they could say, that we're testifying that she's divorced. And he gave her a get already, or he gave her shliach a get. They could have said that, so the fact that they could say that, so therefore they're believed in this case. And so the Gemara says now, according to Rava, that makes sense. But but according to Rava, this is difficult. And Rashi says, because again, according to Rava, actually the halach is, we said this on the previous Amud, when two people deliver a get, there is a need for those two people to say, because there's an additional thing. It's not just a certification issue, it's an issue, and it's an issue of making sure that it was done lishma. And so the Gemara gives the same answer as before. Here, what are we talking about? We're talking about when there was no need. There was no concern for Lishma, because we're talking after the Medina Sayyam, they learned about the halacha of Lishma. And so the Gemara says, if so, again, Chad Nami, even if you have one person delivering the get, so they already know the halacha, what's the concern? And so the Gemara says again, like we said before, Gezer Hashem Yachzer Davar Lekilkulo, there's a Gezer, maybe things will go back to the way they were, and they won't know anymore the halach of Lishma. So Yachy, if so, Beit Nami, but if that's the case, so by two people also, again, we should have a Gezer Hashem Yachzer Davar Lekilkulo, and there should be a requirement to say, Befoneinu Nechda, Uvvaneinu Nechda. And the Gemara says the same as before, Beit Shrei Demai Sugita, Milsa Delo Shricha, when two people deliver a get, that's an uncommon situation, Umilsa Delo Shricha, Lo Gazer Barabon, and in an uncommon situation, the Rabbanan do not make the gezeira, do not do not make their gezeira, and that's why there's no need to say v'fanei nechdav or v'fanei nechdam. And the Gemara asks, same as before, but what about when the wife herself brings the get? That's also not 
common with Tanano Isha Atma Mavia Gitu Vavad Shi Atma, Trika Lomar Fana Nechta Fana Nechtam, the wife herself could bring a get as long as she says Fana Nechta Fana Nechtam. And the Gemara answers Shlo Tachluk Bashlichus, we don't make a distinction by Shlichus, all Shluchim need to say it. And the Gemara says, Yachi of So Baal Nami, then the husband also should need to say it. Alama Tanya who Atma Shevi Gitu and Sark Lomar Fana Nechta Fana Nechtam, why did we learn in a Brysa that if he himself brings the get, he doesn't need to say Fana Nechta Fana Nechtam? And the Gemara says to that, Time Amai Omer Abon and Sarach Lomar Fana Nechta Fana Nechtam, what's the reason that the Abon and said that he that we need to say before nechta before nechta I'm dealing with usi baal ma'aru possibly because maybe the husband's going to come and disqualify it. Hashda minka nokid lebiyade here in this case the husband himself is bringing it. Viruri kamara alas there really a concern that he's going to protest? Of course there is no such concern. And the Gemara continues, Tashma coming here the following proof. How maybe get me Medina Sayam, Vinasnu La Viloam or Lava Fana Nachta Fana Nachtam. Let's say a person brings a get from Medina Sayam, he gives it to her and he doesn't say Vifana Nachta Fana Nachtam. In the sky and Bachosm of Kosher, if you do a certification of the signatures, it's kosher. Vim Lav Puzzle, and if not, it's going to be puzzle. Have a lohutsuhu lomra fana nachta fana nachtam la hachmirala. The reason why we say before nachta fana nachtam is not a stringency upon her. Allah Hakalala, rather, it is a leniency on her. And Rashi explains, meaning say now, it's not a chumr to say that if you had certification, we still require it. Of course not. Once you have certification, you're fine. It's actually a leniency. Why are we saying because that way you don't you won't you don't have to have two witnesses to certify it. It's enough to have just the shliach. It's all a leniency. And so therefore, of course, if you already have the witnesses who are certifying, there's no need for b'fanei nechta b'fanei nechta. And so the Gemara says, according to Rav, this is good, because it's essentially saying over here that the whole reason for B'fanei Nacht, B'fanei Nacht, is certification of the signatures. But according to Rav, it's difficult, because there is an additional reason for B'fanei Nacht, B'fanei Nacht. The reason is because of Lishma. And the Gemara answers as before, Here, what are we talking about? After they are learned, so there is no concern of Lishma. But the Gemara says, But didn't we say before that there's a Gezer, maybe things will return to the way they were, so there really is still a concern of Lishma. And so the Gemara answers to that, Kishinissus. So over here, what are we talking about? We're talking about a situation where she already used the get to get remarried. In other words, in general, there is a Gezer Shamiachs or a Davar Kulo, and there's a concern for Lishma. But once she already uses the get to remarry, we're not going to say that the get was no good. Rashi says, Kishinissus Kavar, she's already married. Just because of this Gezer Shamiachs or Davar Kulo, we're not going to say that she has to divorce this second husband that she married. But the Gemara says, if that's the case, if so, have what does that line mean that the reason for is not a chumrah it's a leniency that's not really true there is a chumrah involved over here in general because of the lishma issue Mishum the real reason we're being lenient over here is because she already got remarried with the get as Rashi says Mishum let's say she had not already gotten remarried we wouldn't let her to get married we wouldn't let her get remarried with this get even though you've certified it but still there would be a concern of lishma and there actually would be a chumrah over here so what does that line mean that it's not a chumra, it's a kula. And the Gemara answers to that, Hachikamar. This is what that line means. If you're going to say that we should be strict and we should force her to divorce, we shouldn't allow her to, to have relied on this get to get married. The purpose was not as a chumra, the purpose was as, as a leniency. And Rashi explains, We are talking about where she already got married using this get. So the point over here is, is that we're not going to force her to divorce. But and here's what we mean to say. The is not such a stringency that we're going to force her to divorce after she re- after she marries. Don't be that machmir that we have to force her to divorce. But the reason is, it's, it's supposed to be a leniency from the outset, that if you use it from the outset, then you, you will not require two witnesses, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daf Hey Amid Base.